Hello and welcome back to another video. Uh, today's main update that I would like to talk about and get some of your feedback on is the boss drop collections. Uh, this basically consists of having a title for each boss which you have completed or obtained every single drop. Personally, uh, as you can see here, it goes through all the um, bosses or if you go in-game to... Uh, let me just get that up quickly. If you go in-game to the beast tab, Oh, that's not the Beast tab. If you go to the Beast tab and you click on Collection, uh, then it has a list of everything you've obtained so far from that boss. However, this doesn't go back predated from today. So if you obtained any drops that are... So anything that's tradable, you obtained before the 4th of September 2017, then they won't show on this log. So you can see here that it actually shows that I have two spider leg drops because they're sitting in my bank and obviously you can't trade those so clearly I obtained those myself and then obviously the pets um, are unlocked here as well. Now I'm very split on this update and there's a few things that I'd like to just propose and see what you guys think and get some feedback on this. Um, first off is we've had Rune Metrics tracking our personal drops since February 2016. So if we go ahead and open Rune Metrics as you can see here, um, this is my kills and drops over the last 561 days or since 22nd of February 2016, which is when we first started having these logged. Now, you can see here that I've had numerous drops, um, so Dormant Star Slisky, you know, Onyx Bolts, all that kind of crap. And it, it does log which boss you got them from. As you can see here on the left, it's got sort of most killed, and I can filter this, do all sorts of cool stuff, which is great. However, there's no reason that they can't go back and look to the 27th, 22nd of February last year and say, okay, so he's had 10 personal seismics, nine personal singular, uh, 10 personal ones, nine personal sings. So we're gonna put that into his logs here. If I were to go to Virago, I only see, you know, all the omens, but I don't see any energies, like, you know, or, or seismic ones, but yet, um, as you can see in my, you know, PVM logs, you can see that I've had 4,800 energies. So that to me seems a little bit broken, like they've got the information there and they haven't really bothered to integrate it. However, I do understand that part of this is gonna be a race to see who can get the most, you know, finish it all. And there is supposed to be a title for having every single um, one of these titles unlocked, uh, which will be obviously every drop from each boss. However, and, and, and maybe they want the race to that to be fair and not rigged from before, but everybody, you know, if you're going to be going for some of these drops, it's unlikely that you haven't been playing the last year, and it's pretty demotivating for some people that have done, you know, if you've done 5,000 Virago kills or whatever, to have to go back and do more of that. In my opinion, it would make a lot more sense if they used your room metrics, and then from there, if you hadn't had a drop, that's fine. Secondly is take Chaos Elemental for example. Now some of these are outrageously rare. To get all of these drops from Chaos Elemental including a Status Warhammer which okay would be the only drop here that is profitable. Everything else apart from maybe the Zuriels which people use to mage as sort of alternative gear is almost a nothing drop. Now going for all of these would be you know five six seven thousand chaos elemental kills when most people probably only did about a thousand one thousand five hundred at tops for their pet so people saying it's ifbv2 it kind of is but in my opinion for some bosses it's going to be a hell of a lot worse seems very grindy and unbelievably rng based when most of the community have been crying for sorry not crying i shouldn't use that word um have been requesting thresholds for many of the drops, such as Vit, and these don't have thresholds, but yet are extremely rare at a boss which is pretty much dead. I mean, not many people corp unless they're after the pet. So what's my personal stance so far? What I'm gonna do is go for just completing a couple of the titles um, that I would sort of do with bosses anyway. So Virago, I think JMJ of Omens, oh, I'll probably get that. I'll then probably go for Telos. Um, I think it could be quite fun. I've actually had one of every one of these drops and two of each orb. So doing that again, I don't mind. You know, obviously it's very profitable and I, and I like Telos anyway and I need to get better, so that's fine. The rest, um, next would be a fun one to do, but it's quite a lot of items. But still, it's profitable, so it's not too bad. AOD again, I'm going to continue doing AOD as I still enjoy the boss. 
The rest then, I probably, you know, racks should be fine. Um, but I don't, I, you know, I haven't been to a rack store in probably a year, year and a half, so we'll have to see about that. But apart from that, I can't see myself going for too many of these unless I get really bored. Um, the only thing is, would it make a good series? On one hand, yes, it might be interesting to see, you know, how does our, my RNG compare at each boss. However, the progress could be incredibly slow. If I go to Bandos, for example, and I get every drop apart from a hilt, and I go 3,000 Bandos kills drive for a hilt for only a 20 or 15 second clip, that's just extremely, one, it's extremely tedious stream content, so, you know, I'm not sure about that. But as well, it's just, you know, for 15 seconds of a highlight in a YouTube video, I'm not so sure. So we'll have to see. Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, I'm sorry, it's been a very rambly video. Uh, but I just did think it was worth pointing out a few things about this update. Um, but let me know. I th the idea is cool. It's just the way it's implemented is a little bit frustrating, um, as always. But I think, you know, Jagex will look to see how players react to this um, and hopefully come up with a conclusion. So whilst I was quickly making this video, uh, I did sort of get in touch with a few Gmods and they filled in a couple of the questions that I wasn't sure about. There is a post which I'll put down below which was linked on, or someone commented on Reddit about rune metrics linking to the game and it's just not possible to reverse engineer uh, ModPy has confirmed. And the other thing is there is no title so far uh, that gives you, that, that it's for obtaining every single, like one of these titles, but there are plans if they see enough people going for it. Uh, they can implement it in the future. Yeah, if you did enjoy the video, please do feel free to like and uh, subscribe for more.